Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dane Harper Realtors. Today I'm at the West Wind Summit section of Alamo Ranch on the northwest part of the San Antonio area, right about 20 minutes from Lackland Air Force Base. I'm out here because one of my out-of-state clients is looking at a pre-existing home built by Guillen that is almost 3,500 square feet and built in 2016. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a beautiful four bedroom, three and a half bath, and this really nice gated community. As you can tell, everyone keeps their lawns up really nicely, and uh, it's a really great area. Um, you're gonna probably have quite a few military folks living in here because of its proximity to Lackland. And uh, Alamo Ranch is a big, massive subdivision and pretty close to everything else around uh, this part of town. All right, let's go check out the inside. Love the stone that Guillen put on the front of this house. I mean, this is really beautiful. They do have a really good size uh, front porch sitting area, so you can sit out and uh, sip on some coffee. I was just talking to one of the neighbors that live here. There are a lot of military and first responders that live in this community. So that's always a good thing. But look at this. Going up, you do have a little catwalk section. Nice stairs. I have a friend of mine that I'm pretty sure has this same floor plan of Guillen Home in Church, Texas. So you do have an office right up front. Plenty of good space, good lighting, nice engineered wood floors. Loving the eight foot doors that are in here. Your little half bathroom. Good size mud room slash utility room combo. Don't see that too often, but you will have a place to put your shoes, backpacks, all that good stuff right there. And just because of how the house is sit they don't want a really super steep driveway so they dug in the driveway quite a bit but that gives you a really tall garage but there are a couple of like three steps coming down and uh, a little storage space you have a formal dining room section Nice little archways. Nice tall baseboards on this in this house. Then we come into the great room space. I go way up because these are some tall ceilings. Nice big grand fireplace, lots of tall lights. And then a long archway leading into the kitchen breakfast nook area. A really big island that you can put chairs up underneath. Decent size pantry. You have your oven and microwave stacked. But also really tall cabinets. No hardware on there, but you can do that yourself after the fact. It is a gas community. Venetian style granite, which is a, a good solid level too. Kind of your basic 50-50 stainless steel sink, basic faucet, but uh, it does open it up if you wanted to upgrade the faucet. Upgrading the sink might be a little difficult unless you wanted to replace the granite. Previous owners did extend this cover, this patio area. Not all of it's covered, 
but they are the upgraded uh, shingles on here. Those are the three dimensional shingles. You can kind of see them right there. It does have uh, crap frame farting. Um, gutters. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word gutters. Not a little fan. I had this first time I've seen this. I see the commercials for these, those little flex fake vines, but it works really well out here, creating some extra shade for you when uh, trying to get out of the sun. They've got the lights up on top there as well. Some of the hardware on the doors can be touched up a little bit. Well, it's a pretty good size house. I mean, uh, almost, it gets uh, uh, 15 feet shy of being 3,500 square feet. So this is a big house. Speaking of big, check out the size of this owner suite. Really good size. They got a nice bump out. You do have the uh, double doors going into the bathroom. Beautiful tile all the way around. A deep garden tub. A good size step down mud inset shower. We have dual vanities and dual closets. I like the fact that the mirrors are already framed. This is going to be the smaller of the two walk-in closets, but at least they are double stacked, so you can still put plenty of clothes in there, double check bars. And you wonder who's going to be getting this closet, because you have your shoe rack, your two stacks, your Check yourself, make sure you're good to go before heading out. And a little bonus room, no light in here, but just for additional storage. This kind of goes underneath the stairs. Kind of neat. There's a couple of spots that can be touched up. Like I said, it's a little hole that somebody put in the wall there, probably for running wires. But, uh, well, the house was built in 2016. It can use a fresh coat of paint, and uh, there's a few spots that can be touched up, but for 430, this is a pretty good bargain. All right, let's go check out upstairs. This house has been on the market. This is day, the full day of day two. I have not heard back from the listing agent, but I would anticipate multiple offers because, well, as of beginning of May 2021, everything goes into multiple offers. So we'll see if I hear back from him soon. All right, your full upstairs bathroom. Oh, there's a light up there that I missed. I think. Now this is what I really like. You have two different bonus areas up here. Perfect place for a pool table, game room, whatever you want to do up here. I wouldn't make this a movie room because you've got that right over here. So another big bonus space perfect size for your home theater and you see up there they've got it pre-wired already for the two front speakers in the ceiling those are the only pre-wired speakers i've seen so far but it does have access to your texas basement or a little attic space up here plenty of space to put in some uh plywood give yourself a little extra storage space up here Ooh, 
Whoop, that was louder than I expected. Now you'll see the eight foot doors downstairs. You're not gonna see eight foot doors upstairs. That's very typical because to do that, you would have to have a really super tall upstairs ceiling too. Now this is still fairly tall, but not tall enough that you would have the eight foot doors. All right, let's go across the catwalk. Kind of show you the view from up here. On both sides, got this nice little perch looking down. All right, then we got the three other bedrooms all up um, this side of the upstairs. Just okay size closets. Looks like there's a little rack. But plenty size bedroom for a kiddo. Another decent sized bedroom. Got some spots on the carpet. Looks like someone had spilt some red stuff and red stains are the worst to get out and something else there. You can see some of the smudges. Looks like they're either getting the walls cleaned or just painting. It's not that big of a deal getting how walls paint is not that big of a deal. Much bigger closet here. You can have a little mini walk-in closet in this room. See some more red stains on the carpet there. A little pet peeve of mine, missing a door stop. So I'll make sure I don't smack that door. But if you did get this house, you'd want that door stop fixed. No need for someone to accidentally put a hole in the wall. All right, we have another full bathroom. So you have two full bathrooms upstairs. With another good sized bedroom. On the back corner of the house. With another nice mini walk-in closet. All right, that's gonna wrap the tour of this almost 3,500 square foot house built by Gian in Alamo Ranch on the northwest part of San Antonio. If this house is something you wanna put an offer in on, let me know. And for the general public that's watching this videos, if you're looking for a real estate agent that does uh, videos like this to make sure the house is what you're looking for, feel free to send me a text. My information is on the final screen. All right, as always, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.